Now we will study a very important section in alternating current circuit that is impedance of an AC circuit. Here we can write for an electric circuit impedance is the total ohmic opposition offered by the circuit for AC applied to that circuit or circuit section. Impedance can also be defined for a section of circuit. We can write it is due to mainly two standard factors which we have studied. Number one is uh, the resistances connected in the circuit, and the second one is reactances connected in the circuit. Like if we talk about uh, a pure resistance R connected in a circuit. Here, its impedance, which is denoted by Z phasor, it is written as only R phasor because the ohmic opposition provided by this R to an, any alternating current circuit is R only. So this is only R phasor, and here we say it is uh, purely resistive. Impedance. And if we talk about the pure capacitor, then uh, if we talk about impedance of a pure capacitor, it is written as equals to XC phasor. And here we say this is purely capacitive impedance. Similarly, for an inductor, the impedance, as we know, that the total ohmic opposition offered by an inductor is omega L, which is inductive reactance, this XL, and here we can say purely inductive impedance. As all these three offer uh, R, X, C, and X L value of ohmic opposition, that's why these are written as uh, resistive impedance, capacitive impedance, and inductive impedance. But see what will happen when a resistance is there in series with an inductor, and if an alternating current I phasor is flowing through this, and in this case R and L are connected in series, so for this circuit we write. Impedance Z is written as R phasor plus X L phasor because these are connected in series. And how to go with the values of these or how to calculate the value of impedance phasor? Here we can draw the phasor diagram. We know the value of R we can write as R angle 0 degree plus X L we can write as omega L angle plus pi by 2. So here on this phasor diagram we can write. Or we can draw resistance at zero degree, and we can draw this XL phasor, which is omega L, which is at plus pi by two. And in this phasor triangle, if we do the vector addition of the two phasors, which is actually phasor addition by parallelogram law, this phasor will give us the resultant phasor will give us the value of Z phasor. And in this situation, the value of Z we can write simply by mathematics. We can write it as R square plus omega square L square. And the angle theta we can simply write as 10 inverse of omega L by R. So here Z phasor we can write as root of R square plus omega square L square angle 10 inverse of omega L by R. This is the way how. Impedance phasor is calculated by using the resistance and reactance phasors. For various kind of circuits, uh, we need to analyze uh, impedance phasor by using resistances and reactances connected in that circuit.